Watch you guys stop doing these things to your computer. This is what we're going to be talking about today. Some of the things that people say and do with their computer. So common sense is as good as any antivirus. That's simply not true. If you think you're smarter than an antivirus program and you'll be able to detect all malware on the internet and stop you getting infected, then you're going to be mistaken. You could get hit by ransomware at any one time and it could simply just completely encrypt all of your data. And that is the biggest problem that you're going to see with people saying they don't need an antivirus. You do need an antivirus and you need to have it running on your PC. It doesn't really matter what antivirus you've got. Uh, you just need to use one to protect all of your data and also to make sure you don't get really bad, nasty infections. The good thing is that Windows 11 and Windows 10 are a lot more secure nowadays. And basically they do block a lot more malware viruses, Trojans and ransomware and all the other types of infections that you can uh, get when you're using the internet. It just takes one simple click and you could be infected. That's how easy it is. And you cannot stop that from happening. Another thing I hear people say is that antivirus programs will hinder PC's performance and slow down the computer. That might have been the case back in 1980s and 1990s, but not so much in 2021. Now, Norton had a really bad reputation, just like McAfee, for slowing down your computer. If I use Norton today, and it's a lot more better. You can see here we don't have hardly any system resources being used on the system but yet people will still say that Norton's junk and it basically slows up your computer. That just goes to show you they got their head stuck in the past and they just don't look forward to the future. The good thing about an antivirus program is it blocks malware. When you plug in your uh, USB flash drive, if there was a, a piece of malware on there and you plugged it in, you can see automatically it wants to scan that drive and stop it from infecting your computer. So it's really important that you use an antivirus program. Another thing I see is when people say that formatting your hard drive will remove all the data on that drive. This is another common misconception where people, when they go to sell a PC, they will format their drive and basically sell that PC. But people with a bit of knowledge can use data recovery software to pull back all the data on that drive. That was using the quick format method. Now I've got a USB flash drive here. If I did a full format on this drive by taking the quick format out of the equation here it will be really really slow and basically erase all the data on that drive and it will be virtually impossible to pull back any data by using data recovery software so it's important that you use the right method to securely erase any sort of drives or ssds when you come to selling your computer I have a strict policy where I will never buy used hard drives because you just never know what has been put on those drives and it's now in your possession. I just don't like the thought of what could be actually on there. Now, some of the best data recovery software out there can actually pull back data, which has been deleted a year ago. It really is that simple to recover data on a hard drive as long as the drive hasn't been securely erased or had a really slow format on that drive even if you format the driver quickly and reinstall windows you can still pull back all of that data it's very simple but using that slow format method and using an advanced scan here you'll see that it doesn't recover any data on this usb flash drive and i just wanted to show that to you guys because it's important when it comes to uh, giving a drive away to someone or selling a, a computer on eBay or something like that, and you still leave the drive in there. You're much more better just taking the drive out and keeping it and selling it without a drive in it, because that way you can be 100% sure that there's no data left on that drive. Now you can see here, there's no information to be recovered on this USB flash drive, and I've used it many, many times. I've had photos on here and everything, but you can't recover anything. And that's because the drive has now been zeroed and there's no information to be recovered using this method. There's still possibility of recovering data if you send it to a data recovery specialist using hardware recovery techniques rather than software like this. But you will not be able to recover data like this using software. And this is one of the best data recovery software out there. Now, there's other more secure erase methods that you can use to stop data from being recovered on those drives if you do want to sell hardware or drives on the second-hand market. 
but just make sure that the data is completely erased before you sell them. So let's move on to another computer myth, which is turning off the page file inside your operating system, and this will make your computer faster. I don't know how many videos I've seen on YouTube or how many articles I've read online telling people to disable the page file system to make your PC faster. This does not make your PC faster. And in fact, it's going to cause you more problems by turning this feature off. Windows sometimes needs to have access to the paging file. And if it can't get access to it because you've turned it off, you will end up with blue screens. You'll end up with pop-up error codes, run out of memory error codes, and all these sorts of things. So if it's on automatically manage a paging file size, then just leave it there. It's not going to hurt in 2021. This was really popular back in 1980s and 1990s, uh, you know, in the early 2000s, where people like to come in here and turn this off. Another myth that people say is if you've got over eight gigabytes of memory, you can turn off the paging file. Now, your PC will seem faster and it will basically let you turn it off and it will run, but it will cause problems in the long run. So when you're doing something like gaming, you'll suddenly get a blue screen and you won't know what's caused it. It's more than likely because you've turned off your page file. So in 2021, just leave it on. Let Windows manage the paging file system and you won't have any problems. You won't need to worry about it. If you have a good PC with a good 16 gigs of RAM, you should be perfectly fine. This is another bit of misinformation that you see on the Internet where using incognito mode makes you anonymous online. Unfortunately, that's not the case. All it does is basically hides your browsing history and doesn't store any information on your browser. That doesn't mean that you're completely uh, anonymous online and your data is not being stored somewhere. Your ISP will still know what sites you're going to. So it's not going to be a security feature that's going to keep you safe if you're doing something online that you shouldn't be doing. All incognito mode does is basically erase your history and cookies and your uh, traces where you've been online when you close the browser down and you end that session. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to make you completely anonymous if you use incognito mode or in private mode or any of those modes with your browser. It's just been named incorrectly really by saying incognito because people think they're invisible to the world and no one can see them. So just bear that in mind when you're using it. Another thing I see people still talking about today in 2021 is codecs. I can't remember the last time I installed a codec pack on my PC, which was a really big thing back in 1980s and 1990s. But people still talk about codec packs and how you need all of these codecs to be installed on your PC. You simply don't need them anymore in 2021. If you want to install uh, some codecs safely, then use something like VLC Media Player because this will play just about any uh, movie file or media file that you chuck at it. And you won't need to go ahead and risk yourself by downloading some Moody codec pack off the internet. There's plenty of places where you can download media codec packs on the internet and they are normally laced with malware. So be very, very careful where you download those. You don't need them anymore. So stop using those silly methods in 2021. These are just some of the things that people are still doing in 2021 that they should stop doing because they don't need to be doing that sort of stuff anymore with their computer. So if you've got any more of these you want to see, let me know in the comments section below and I'll make some more of these videos if you enjoy them. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really do appreciate the support. Don't forget, join our Discord server if you fancy having a chat. If you're busy on there, you will end up with a community member role, which will give you access to the voice chat as long as you're 21 years of age. Thanks again. Bye for now.